This tutorial is an introduction to LibreOffice Impress. Now when you first open up the program, you're going to be given this template selection window. Um, these are just predefined templates if you want to select one of these. But if you don't want one, then what you can do is you can either import your own or you can cancel by this. Now over here on the left, it says show this dialog at startup. Now you can turn this on or off. I don't need to see this dialog, so I just take that check off and then hit cancel. Now if you ever do want to have that window show back up again at startup, you just go up to the tools toolbar here, go to options, go down to LibreOffice Impress, and then general. And then on the right hand side here, see where it says new document? You just check this here where it says start with template selection and then it'll turn back on and then give you that option every time. But I keep it turned off because I don't need it. So when we bypass the template screen, we're given a blank presentation. The first thing we want to do is design the layout the way we want it. Now I'm going to show you how I like it, and but you this is all personal preference. Now you'll notice up here that on the top I have what's called tabs. And now to turn these tabs on, by default they are not turned on. Let me show you how to turn those on. So you go to View, you go to User Interface, and typically it's right it's like this when you first uh, install the program it's the standard toolbar see it's just the selections up here which is the menu bar and the tabs are not there I always turn these on so you go to user interface and down here where it says tabbed it will turn these on now they serve the same purpose as the drop-down menus here it's just that I like to have them all across here in, um, in horizontal mode because then if I just go to like say I go to review or I go to insert I have all of my options available without having to scroll down and look at these options and then look at the subcategories so now also if these uh, menu items here if you don't want those on then you just click this button over here where it says menu bar and it will take off the uh, vertical menu bar but I like to have them both on because there are some things that are not on the horizontal tab bar, which would be like help and window and whatnot. So I just keep them both on. Now if you look down here to the slide section, uh, on the left hand side you have a menu bar and this shows all of the slides that you have in your presentation. And then over to the right here, uh, if you look at this little arrow right here where it says show or hide if you click that it will open up a window over here and what this is is this displays all the functions for your slide like all of your animations your transitions and whatnot so I like to have them both open but if you need the space you can hide that one right there if you want to in fact you can even hide this one but really, this one here pretty much stays open. I think most people like to have this one open because this shows all of your slides on the left-hand side. Now, farther over, you will see another menu right here, vertical menu. And this has, um, if you click on each one of these, it will display just to the left here another menu. So basically, you've got two menus going on, but whenever you select the one on the far right, it opens up your options just to the left. So you have your properties, you have your slide transitions, you have your animations, you have master slides, you have styles, you have gallery, and you have navigator. Okay, so if you would like to have rulers on the edge of your slide, you go up to view and rulers. And this will put a horizontal ruler and a vertical ruler. Now I don't use these, but a lot of people do like to have them, especially if you're used to uh, using um, drawing documents and what a lot of people like to have these that way they can keep things the same size and whatnot but um, you also might want to go to tools and then options and then LibreOffice Impress and then go down to general and over here where it says unit of measure uh, you can pick if you want to use inch or feet or whatever you can also pick uh, metric millimeter centimeter um, of course I live in the United States so I pick inch but you can change that if you'd like to. And then one other thing that you can do, if you go to View and go to Grid and Helplines, go to Helplines while moving. What this will do is if you are moving a box or an object, you just click on it, and as you're moving it, you'll notice it'll give you uh, two horizontal and two vertical lines 
then it'll give you some guides to kind of focus on other objects. Like if I wanted to put this object up against another one, then this would allow me to just line it right up like that with the grid lines, and I'm good to go. So this is how I like to have my LibreOffice Impress laid out.